Okay, good morning, everybody. Sunday, 20th of August. Looks like it's going to be a busy day, and rightly so, because this area of higher pressure is starting to just assert a little bit of dominance over us and uh, settle the winds down a bit. And in fact, actually give us a day, which uh, I think on a weekend we haven't seen for a little while. It is a bit murky and cloudy currently, but it does look like it's going to dry up and brighten up this morning. Those winds generally coming in from the southwest, and as we can see there, 10 to 15 knots at flying heights. So that picture over the UK reveals a reasonably uh, sort of cloudy start in our area, uh, though we're sort of one of the more isolated areas out to the west and out to the east. Uh, it does appear like it's a bit brighter, but it shouldn't take too long for some brightness to get towards here and start to allow some better convection as the day goes on and looking good up into Lincolnshire and East Anglia. Public forecast today showing it drying out throughout the day. Getting to a top temperature today of 21 degrees with good visibility throughout and uh, cloud base going up quite significantly. GFS predicting 22 or 23 here may reach 24, maybe even 25 in East Anglia today with dew points dropping to around 11 or 12 in certain places, maybe that little bit higher here. Currently at Lashen, we do have a flow of clouds, so we have a temperature of 16 and a dew point of 14. And the picture outside is that currently, uh, which is uh, sort of scattered broken at less than 1,500 feet currently above the airfield. That was David's forecast from last night, um, talking about the pressure building in. And uh, I may say that it might take just a little bit longer to get to 3,500 feet, uh, but I'm willing to be wrong there. Uh, but it does look like this afternoon it definitely will have dried out nicely and uh, good conditions over a nice area. And looking through this week, it does look like we're not too far off having a uh, nice soaring week. So, yeah, worth keeping in mind. So potential flight distance today is that you can see we're in one of the better areas uh, sort of running down. Uh, just towards uh, Kivu or uh, that area. Uh, good up as well towards uh, the Midlands, but just be aware of influence from Bristol Channel and the potential convergence line as well, which I'll just show on here, uh, whether it is still there or not. Um, it, I am told there were some people making use of this, either in the junior nationals or um, more locally yesterday. And yeah, so there may well be a convergence line forming uh, sort of through the West Country and up towards the Northwest if uh, wind gets in the right direction. So uh, as we go through the day then, 10 o'clock, it's, it's not going to be an early start. I think it's going to need to take a little bit of time to heat up and cloud base to go up. But uh, by the time we get to about 11 o'clock, we've probably got two and a half to 3,000 feet. And then once we get to probably half 11, we've got three to three and a half thousand feet. Uh, with reasonable cumulus, uh, a little bit take, a little bit longer up to the northeast for it to go from junior nationals. Not so good in Wales, but what's new? Uh, around us, then it gets good by um, mid to late afternoon um, with cloud base looking around here of around four and a half to five thousand feet, quite widely uh, mm -hmm. on a line running at sort of to the east of Keeble and then up into the Midlands, uh, probably remaining uh, to the east of the seven. Going through and cloud base continues to rise up to our north, uh, probably going up to five and a half thousand feet potentially. As we get to late in the afternoon, we will start to see the influence of maritime air, as is this wind direction. And uh, the wind will pick up just a little bit, um, just make that a little bit harder to get back. So cloud base reducing in the Lasham area, probably late this afternoon, but remaining good up into the Midlands. Mm -hmm. East Anglia falling apart. This is around uh, sort of 4.30 or so. But uh, no, good in the Midlands at this point. And looks like round here uh, by six o'clock, Lasham is going to start becoming very tricky, but remaining good to our north. And uh, still good even at seven o'clock in parts of the Midlands, but unsorable here. Cloud amounts where you can see that low cloud initially starting, then lifting as we go through the morning to a reasonable cumulus. Chances of a little bit of overdevelopment in the task area, but nothing uh, too out of the ordinary. And yeah, looking like a nice day. Site forecast then for Lashem, and you have a sort of moderate thermals throughout the day. 
project area at around four and a half to 5,000 feet above sea level, uh, uh, but higher up north and uh, getting a little bit windier this afternoon with sort of 20 to 21 knots uh, being the top gust figure that we might see in this area this afternoon. Metars and TAFs are uh, currently farm reporting scattered at 1,000 or scattered at 1,800. And you can see a few at 2,000 being the headline figure. Uh, they always just put something in which is uh, fairly bog standard and Bryce Norton being the same, few at 3,000 feet. Oxford talking about a few at two. Um, yeah, it's not really providing any helpful uh, sort of ideas. Birmingham showing a few at four and a half, but yeah, I think the data shows it's going to be a nice day uh, once uh, the cloud lifts. Okay, airspace wise, I've just put up my first slide. A few things to just consider. Uh, I don't think it will be a factor today for most people, uh, but airspace wise, Eastbourne Air Show restricted air temporary is valid all day. It's also red hours display late this afternoon. Same at Folkestone, uh, restricted air temporary all day and red hours. It's pretty much, it's not worth going down that part of the country if you're hugging the coast, uh, unless you have done a lot of planning. I don't think the weather's going out anyway. BBMF uh, doing lots of fly past Bedfordshire, Norfolk, and Popham have got the LAA rally on. Um, they haven't told me they won't accept visitors, but be aware you might be part of a fairly busy circuit. So please give that the respect that it deserves. Also in NOTAMs, I'll just go around the clock. Looks like we've got some paragliding uh, NOTAMs as always um in devices so lots of paragliders the sky will be quite busy gliding competition at grandstone lodge uh parachuting at farnborough today uh, for a bit and looking further up paragliding at uh rutland water but generally to our north it is looking uh fairly uh easy and reasonable uh, most of these no tams are just for the military to avoid. So as we plane as usual, uh, nothing else really to talk about. Just going to put this slide up. Uh, I don't really need to explain it in any greater detail, but please consider soaring protocol at all times and give each other the space and respect that each glider deserves in a thermal uh, when joining. Uh, there's plenty of safety material available on the HGA website. Uh, but so yeah, I think my safety point this week is going to be about uh, joining and uh, flying in thermals respectfully and accurately. Uh, so yes, we will go through a bit more of that later in the week. Okay, uh, operationally today, we've got a lot of you, so I don't really have a choice but to go on 2-7 uh, for at least the beginning of the day. Uh, so 2-7, it'll be with an offset uh, to the south. Uh, winching on the south side. Um, we're going to grid. I want as many of you on there as possible, please. Uh, because one of my pet hates here is when people uh, turn up at half past 12 and wonder why, or one o'clock and wonder why that, that, that there's not so many people to help. It's because we've just used all of those people to launch a grid. So yeah, please make sure that you use the grid as best you can uh, until it closes, probably as we get towards the latter stages. So not expecting the grid to go any time early, uh, but it would be very useful for most of you to go on there unless you're taking a winch launch, please. It just makes my life and everybody looks like a lot easier. No jet movements as far as I'm aware. So 2-7 in use. Probably by the end of the day, I'll be considering a swap to 2-3. So if you're coming in at sort of five o'clock-ish, you may be landing to uh, this way. Uh, so and we would be winching sort of like that with Aerito from here. So just bear that in mind. What I don't want to see is people swinging around like that. That's dangerous, and I'm going to call it out. So please don't do that. You'll just get safety reported. Good. Right. Runway 27 News, join the grid. We'll see you out there. Bye for now.